Hello reality viewers, welcome back again to Reality Latest Gist, the home of news and politics. For this channel, we they drop news every day and we they react to every video where it comes our way. And our reality news now we they drop for this channel and we they also they talk on as it be. If today now the first time we say they come across this channel, you are highly welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. And if you are returning subscribers, I appreciate all of you now for now massive support to this channel. I say may God bless all of you now in Jesus name. Amen. I get video away I want to present to Una this very moment. And I go to follow now. They watch the video. After we don't watch them together, make we drop our opinion constructively for the comment section. Like our videos and also share our videos if possible. Bye for now. This video, my correct people, before I go drop them, I watch this video and tears come out for my eye. Imagine Percy where you say you don't see gun for a hand, you don't see cutlass, you don't see anything for a hand. You labor a terrorist. You put her for prison for 15 years. You they adjourn the case. They adjourn the case for good 15 years. Where the real terrorist they street. They even our mama farm, they kidnap, they do the vaga our people. Because say then they, they just they demand for freedom. You lock them for prison. Then you begin to adjourn the matter for 15 years. You not can see get any reasonable offense. So we say they commit. You not see gun for their hand. You not see anything for their hand. This is what Mazina the canon have been talking about. I watch this video, I cry. I wash and tears come out for my eye. Make I drop this video. I see no reason where be say many people not will fight for freedom for this kind of thing will happen. So this video go make many people decide say no, we need to leave Nigeria. If people feel arrest for not doing anything, they keep them for inside prison for 15 years. Then what thing will come become somebody will be say that they carry cut class, they go farm and police people can't see them. They, they go farm, they tell us, okay, we they go farm. Who know what thing they go do them? Just because they, they say, we need freedom. We need our own freedom. Let us go. Now they arrest them for good 15 years. Make we watch the video. The 19 accused persons shared tears of joy as the court acquitted them of treason and terrorism charges and ordered their release after 15 years in detention. The judgment favored me. I'm, I give God, God all the glory for what he has done in my life today. Over 15 years being in prison is not easy, but today I'm liberated and free. The trial judge, Justice Nicholas Owebo, says the prosecutors failed to establish proof for treason and terrorism charges against the 19 accused persons. The judge delivered a well-considered judgment, exhaustively, exhaustively, evaluated the facts, and came to the conclusion that there was no iota, there was no skin teller, there was no modicum of evidence adduced by the prosecution against the defendants. And what is worrisome is that it took more than 14 years to come to this conclusion, and that brings to four. One of the defects in our criminal justice administration. This is a case in which people wasted their two years. This is a case in which the state subjected this gentleman to trial for levying war against, against the federation. And at the end of the day, they could not produce arm, they could not produce admission, they couldn't even tender the so called uniform. The movement of the actualization of the sovereign state of Biafra is a secessionist group in Nigeria associated with Igbo nationalism, which supports the creation of an independent state of Biafra from Nigeria. Such campaigns are forbidden in Nigeria. Some of the accused persons say they were arrested in 2007 without any evidence of treason and terrorism. I feel to, to break down heaven, to go and meet God, to glorify him. I'm so grateful that God have done it for me. Actually, I was been suffering for what I did not know anything about. I'm a businessman. In my shop, I have two uh, stores, which I left unlocked. I went away in the morning. They picked me up and took me to the police station. I told my, my, my neighbors that I'm coming back in one next to one hour. This is next to one hour. 
15 years, I left my shop unlocked. I don't know anything. Today, I regain my freedom. Hello? To God be the glory. None of us died. Hello? Oh, I give God the glory. The subsidy removal is inevitable. There's no way we can. The only thing that will affect us is the, is the exchange rate that we currently have. Subsidy removal, we need to remove it. But the way they want to do it is not the right way. It has to be removed gradually. Gradually, gradually, until we are used to it. Buhari, Muhammad Buhari telling us that he's going to remove all subsidy from next year. And he'll be giving Nigerians 5,000 5, Naira uh, for uh, giving us 5,000 5, Naira. The money they promised the children, the students, that they're going to give them, are they keeping it today? The 5,000 5, they say they will give to uh, uh, our children every month. Is it 5,000 5, or something? They say they will give to our children some time ago. They are not keeping to it. All these things, they just, is grammar. At the end of the day, nothing is happening. Let us do the needful so that we can move our country forward. What we need to do is let our big people, all the people, all the politicians, that they know that they can really help this country because we are sinking economically. They know that they can help this country. Let them come and let's put our head together. Let's reason together and know how to rescue this country from economic collapse. Because the country is going down the drain on a daily basis. We are sinking economically. With our population, if nothing tangible is, is done, we, we are going to find it very difficult. Are, there's no country in, the, in Africa that can, condo, no, that can accommodate Nigeria. Where are we going to run to? Will you run to Ghana or where? Where, where, do we, where are we going to run to? So we have to make sure that you know, we put the right you know, a, a, a people at the helm of affairs so that they can move this country forward. We have people that can change the destiny of this country. I think removal will not make any difference because every year since Buhari entered, he said they are removing subsidy. In fact, he said there was nothing like subsidy before. Later on, they said they are removing subsidy. And every year, they said they are removing. So I, to me, they should just leave it the way it is because removal or no removal, it will, it will, we, are still, we will still face the same difficulty in this nation. So there is nothing to remove there because to them, they said they have already removed subsidy. So what again are they going to remove now? Sue subsidy, a place where we are, we are producing oil, abandoned oil, then they, they, they are going to remove a subsidy that way. We cause problem for us. It's not supposed to be like that. Instead, they're supposed to be paying everybody. There are some places like uh, Libya. Libya, when they were in power in those days, they build a house. If you, the moment you reach 25 years of age, you will get a job. You will, they will be paying you, I mean, they will give you a house. But we are richer than all those places. What is the problem? We have to think well so that we act well. If you don't do that, Nigeria is, is, is in trouble. How can we cope? Where, where are they helping the pharmacies? People, you know, no work, nothing, nothing. Now you want to increase the fuel. How? Yeah. Have it been that they said, okay, we have many mineral resources, solid mineral. The money they brought, they say, unless oh, if you are in an importer from Central Bank, you can assess it. But if you are not an exporter, you can't, you can't assess it. But if they have thrown it on the floor, say, okay, if you turn yourself to an exporter, then get this money. When you get the money, now you can export. Many people will know how to export and what to export. All this, uh, but no way. I don't know if you understand. So, government need to sit up. The, the country is getting, is getting too rough. I don't know how this country will be by next year. Or at the end of this year, I am praying that God will actually have mercy on us. Now we are talking about, uh, they said they are going to remove uh, subsidy. I don't know where that mentality came from because everybody seems to agree with removal of subsidy. You can't remove subsidy in a country where you have not put anything in place. That's my position. There's nothing in place. Now they are coming to tell us that 40 million people will be collecting for 5,000 a month. 5,000, will it give you transportation? Or even fuel in your in your in your in your generator for two days when the thing becomes 300 and something naira will it give you fuel? These are the questions we must ask. And who are these 40,000, 40 million people? 
Before you know what is happening, it is the same government people that will put their family members and even fictitious names. If we can have fictitious names in our electoral register, is it to bring 40 million people that will be a problem to them? Who are these 40 million people? Definitely you and I are not going to be part of it. They will think, oh, you are, you are working. How much are you being paid? How much are you being paid? Let's, let's ask ourselves serious questions. So that